Welcome back to Freedom to Think. I'm your host, Jeff, and here we do culture and current events. And man, I'm excited about this one. I have my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife, Keegan, back in the studio. <laughs> it doesn't happen very much since the twins have been born, uh, but we got a handle on them for a brief moment here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a break from the twins. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at something I'm really excited about. Uh, we're gamers. We've been gamers forever. Once in a while, Keegan will join me in my gaming streams over on Rumble. Today we're rocking our I Don't Get Older, I Level Up gamer shirts sent by a subscriber. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Assassin's Creed, their new trailer of their new game that just, just released like five minutes ago. And we played all the other games, minus Valhalla that we did not finish. Yeah. We didn't play Mirage. Yeah, one between Valhalla and the new one. Yes. Yeah, so no, so, we did not play that one. But yeah. all the old games we played before Valhalla, we played all the way through. Correct. And those were all really good. <laughs> yeah, I liked everything up until Valhalla. It just felt like it kind of totally abandoned Assassin's Creedness. Like it just wasn't Assassin's Creedy. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, it kind of, it wasn't like all the rest of the older games. Yeah, I know. And it kind of felt like more the villain than the than the hero in the game. Yeah. Like going to just kind of raid islands, kill everybody on the island, like innocent civilians and stuff, which is kind of the opposite of what the old games were. Yeah, when I like raided a area and then was sword fighting women and slaying them in church, I felt a little <laughs> weird. Not that being a villain is like the worst game ever, because Grand Theft Auto. I mean, yeah, that's true. Anyway, uh, we have absolutely nothing to go on other than Japan. So, I know Japan, and you know Japan, but nothing else. So this is going to be a very fresh reaction. I hope that they get it right, because the Japanese are usually pretty damn good with their development and their games. I just hope that the Japanese influenced more than the Black Rocky SG money. That's that's my my prayer. <laughs> see if we get any woke vibes from yeah, it. Yeah, it's we'll gonna be see. good. <laughs> we'll see. I hope. I really hope that they do good. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like, subscribe, comment what you think, and uh, we're gonna get into this trailer. Hundred and fifty thousand views already. It's a lot for one hour. Yeah. I mean, it's a popular series, so. It looks like it's going to be good. Please, <laughs> please be good. No garbage. Who are you? Who do you serve? I've ever known in my life. I will end. Oh. I love that very beginning because everyone wanted ninjas versus samurais. That's pretty cool. Everybody, like the samurais are the nobles. They're like the infrastructure. They're the Templars of feudal Japan. And then the ninjas were like the outcasted slave class you know it's just like lower in in class structure and they were the ones in the shadows stabbing people in the back fighting dirty they're the assassins like the ninjas are the assassins yeah it goes together pretty well like the sneakiness and the like um what do you call that when you were like hiding in the bushes and you stealth yeah stealth attack yeah. people and all that that's like a lot of what assassin's creed was yeah also Being sneaky <laughs> correct and side tangent, uh, one of my family members actually nicknamed Keegan Ninja or, quote, the ninja because she was quieter than most of the females that they were used to. So he'd be like, where's the ninja whenever <laughs> I was bringing her around as my young girlfriend? I will end. Our customs. My family burns in the name of unification. Still a 
frog in a well who knows nothing of the sea. The ocean's filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Okay, I know there's a story, and you'll have to fill me out in the comments, of a black guy who was not a samurai, but trained by samurai. So is this the real-life adaptation of that in the game? Because obviously a black dude as, like, the main protagonist of the Japanese game is kind of like cultural appropriation. Is that not scream cultural appropriation and its exact definition it's a little odd okay <laughs> so you know esg money wins one there a little bit um, i mean i liked all the all the stuff up to that seemed pretty normal like japanese all japanese people it is not diverse that's actually the reality is that like most of the world if you have something taking place in that part of the world would be people from that part of the world. Yeah, it makes sense to have imagine, Japanese people in a Japanese game. <laughs> like, what if they had a redhead be Shaka Zulu in the African tribe in, like, the live-action movie of that? I could play it. Yeah, he, he could be Shaka Zulu, <laughs> identify as a, a black man from Africa, and then take on everyone. Look, guys, I don't know that you know this, but, like, every other race other than white people is, like, massively proud of their race and quite stereotypically racist to other races. J Japanese are high on the damn list. Like, I, I don't think they give a shit about being... <laughs> they don't care about diversity and inclusion. Caring about people's feelings. <laughs> so unless so this could be though, it could be the story of the actual guy in history who was like trained by samurai. But there are people, woke people, that say he is a samurai, was a samurai, and he's not because he wasn't born there. He's not of that blood. You can't be a samurai unless you're like in that caste system can't earn your way into it. It's not a knight's tale, the movie. We're just going to have to see how this one goes. That's true. They don't really adopt people into that. Because <laughs> we potentially have the main character as the Japanese woman, totally normal for the setting, Japanese woman as a ninja, mm -hmm. and then um, ran random guy from a slave ship, black guy in, in Japan. That's going to scratch some heads for some people. I'm just saying that right now. And you, will you continue down that river? Or choose another path beyond what we see? Then we must look for it together. We must learn to trust, rebuild, and follow the blade. Like I hit pause and then it pauses. It's not working anymore. Okay. We saw Hidden Blade and we saw Ninja Stars. I'm already excited about that. Like Ninja Stars for the Assassins, throwable blades. Perfect. Beautiful. It does make sense that the black guy is wearing the full suit of armor as like a Templar type guy. 
because he couldn't be a, a ninja assassin. Mm -hmm. You can't blend in with the crowd as the one black guy in Japan. Like, that's not going to happen. Yeah. So at least they kind of had their head unscrewed from their asses to, to decide that this guy's going to be a defector that was working for the Japanese, you know, noble system. That would make sense. So he's bought as a slave, raised to fight for them, and then defects to the assassins because he's not actually part of the system. I feel a lot better because it, cause it was just stupid. I'm just like, dude, what, what's going on right now? But that, that could work. It's, it's not very typical. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I think the biggest problem is our history class is, has been so unbelievably whitewashed that people think that um, America is the only people that received black slaves from the East India Trading Company when actually African slaves were shipped all over the world and owned by people of every culture. So this is probably more historically accurate than we might think from a American brainwashing. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. Proceed. Okay, so obviously um, it was feudal Japan, which I think everyone's been screaming for forever. That's really cool. You have a dual protagonist. So I'm thinking it's kind of like a GTA 5 thing where they're like jumping back and forth between the people. Like, oh, uh, okay. So it's like two different stories, you think? I don't know. So it might be, you know what? It's probably a bit like uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate where you were Jacob and Evie and you were mm -hmm. just like jumping back and forth. Okay. And so like the main storyline is that's, that's my guess with grand theft auto. They kind of had like s completely separate storylines with individual people versus like, I think assassin's creed, they were more meshed. Yeah. Even they jumped back and forth. I feel like grand theft auto five was more of individual storylines for the people. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I think, guess it was still the same, but well, I think with the situation, but just from watching the trailer, I think that it's going to be where you're playing as uh, the ninja assassin woman for the sneaky bits, kind of like Evie in Syndicate. And then it's going to jump more to like the berserker going crazy when you're the giant black dude with the big mall wrecking hordes of armored people. So it's like two probably very different approaches and fighting styles. And like I said, you can't be a ninja if you're like the six and a half foot black dude in Japan, like no one's going to buy that game that you're like blending in and just no one notices. I feel like for the people in Japan though, that they would be pretty well trained. So I feel like it was a little bit of a stretch with this guy, just like Merkin Japanese people, just everybody, everybody. So I feel like that was a little for him to show up from the slave ship and then as an adult and then be trained and then be absolutely the best of the best. I mean, we yeah. don't know what the time frame is. I mean, he is bigger, but the Japanese are probably pretty well trained. I mean, you're, you are correct, but there are weight classes for a reason. Well, okay. But there's like five to one ratio. <laughs> you, you fight one on one. I, know, like, I, like, <laughs> I mean, you got to suspend the disbelief a little bit for like all the games. You remember the, just like piles of bodies that we would have. <laughs> Like well, we got to the, the Templars or the, what were they called? Uh, Janissaries. Janissaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, but <laughs> the Janissaries were annoying, but yeah, that was Revelations. You had the Janissaries and you're just like, dude, these guys are so hard to fight. But You just sat there at the end. You're just like, I want to see how many bodies I can get in the pile. Yes. It's like, no one will notice if there's no one to notice. <laughs> just like 500 
dead people. And then like three more people walk by and get alerted and they like run over to you and yep. you're like, all right, fine, I'll take them too. Yeah. So what do you think of the combat like mechanics in the game? Uh, I definitely agree. The guy had like a big maul and then she had like the sneaky blades and whatever. She's more the build of the sneaky. And then, I mean, he's a big dude, especially to be like around the little Japanese. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I feel like he's going to be more the one that is like the run in and. Yeah. Um, run in and firing dude versus her. She would like kind of sneak, sneak around. Right. Like it's... go for like one specific person or something like that versus him just like. Just killing like a horde of people. Carving people in half, like straight up. Just taking the aggro, aggro, full aggro approach. Yeah, no, that was that was definitely interesting. Um, obviously, like I said, uh, there's so much DEI money in that like, I'm curious, I'm always curious. I'm just like, where's the influence going to be? Uh, wokeness in gaming is, is a, a very invasive thing. And so they do sacrifice story and depth and character to install politics and narratives into like all entertainment and media. Like that's what we've been dealing with from the cinematic trailer here. They obviously have female lead and then they have the black guy co-lead in Japan, which is very out of place. So part of it's a little forced not going to lie, but like I said too, it is probably historically accurate because African slaves were sent all over the fucking world by their own people, by their own people. (laughs) Yep. Because the, I don't know if you knew this history lesson, but the Europeans could not survive the diseases of Africa. So they didn't go into Africa to get the slaves. They were all brought to the shore by their own people, sold by their own people. (laughs) Yes. And then shipped around the world everywhere and so like who owned slaves everyone who owned the slave ships almost exclusively jewish people that's actually true too uh and then who ended slavery the british so i know the colonizers ended up being the most merciful in the end the white the horrible evil british empire were the ones that ended slavery first i'll dump the tea in the harbor today okay i'm not like for the brits or anything but that's just history Having a gigantic black slave guy in Japan is actually not historically inaccurate at all. Um, I I think it I think it looks like it could be really good. Also, they didn't they didn't fuck with like how people look. They look like normal people. So you got like weird people saying, "We want our characters to look like average people in the real world." It's like what? No. Like I I played you you watch the comic book movies. And these actors will like work themselves to the bone for months and months and months and take steroids and like all they do is eat and work out so that they could look a little bit like the comic book character for like six weeks of filming. And then they're saying we want like ugly average people in video games where it takes no work to get them to look like, you know, idealistic characters. Is that weird? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's obviously a very, very small percentage of people that would actually want that. And those people are not going to be funding the whole operation. So it's like really stupid, actually, because they're obviously getting funding from somewhere else because you're not going to make money with that. That's not a winning strategy or a successful product. Like, people don't want that. I mean, you're a female, so would you rather play like an average, well, not even average, but would you rather play a feminine-looking woman or a muscular looking dude in your game, or would you rather some like dilapidated creature person? I don't want to question what the gender of the person I'm playing as is. Okay. So it's just like forcing weirdness for no reason other than a big check from BlackRock. I don't know. I think that there was a balance here. They probably got a little bit of money, but they coordinated with the Japanese developers enough that they were like, yeah, we're no weird shit. Like we're just going to make this good. What is your overall? I agree. It's a little bit suspicious with the female and black male lead, but I don't think it was the worst. So I guess it's just, we'll see when gameplay comes out Yeah, because they might be like, she has a transgender partner in the rice paddy village and he is gay for the, uh, for the noble. They have an opportunity to make it weird, but for the moment it seemed okay. Yeah. I think it's mostly fine, but. My other suspicion is it looks really cool, 
but there was no gameplay anything. Like, what what does the gameplay actually look like versus cinematic cutscenes? Because that's not the same thing. Yeah, I mean, from the beginning part, I kind of got that, like, they were going to be defending their homeland of Japan with invaders in the country. Right. Which is an island, so it makes sense. Yeah. So you uh, just got different parts of Japan feuding over other parts of Japan and trying to... Well, I well, kind of felt like it was people coming into Japan because it's an island, but maybe that's wrong. Oh, well, it's if it's feudal Japan, then that would be Japan conquering Japan for the sake of unification. That's what she said at the beginning. So it's kind of like uh, China saying we I need to that. unite with Taiwan and, like, murk all of the Taiwanese leadership. Oh, but it's really just a takeover of that. Correct. Yeah. And so that's what Japan was doing is they had, like, imperial Japanese people with samurais going to the little islands and like fucking them up and trying to take over the whole thing. Well, if they're taking over with force, that's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, I mean, it's rough. And then you have one set group in charge and then the system in place with like kind of the slave underling class. And they're like, if you don't agree, then we'll send in this big dude with a freaking mall to take you out. Pretty you know? much. And so it sounds like he had enough and then he's joining the ninja class. Which ultimately, everyone was here for ninjas. And I feel like from the cinematic trailer, we got ninja action. I mean, you got the throwing stars, the sneaking in the dark. It The hidden blade was there. And then at the end, you saw she did the like hidden blade out and then hooked it. So, so she was able to do like a backstab with the hidden blade. So it came out, turned and stab, spin and stab. Was that in a different game too? It was a hook blade. In Revelations, but I don't think so. I felt like there was a game where the blades came out and then the person grabbed them and turned them like this. But I, I don't, don't remember that. I don't know which game that is if it did happen. So it's been a while since we played all those. Yeah, so I don't remember that specifically? I just remember the hook blade. All the way through Revelations, the Ezio trilogy is peak Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, the Ezio games were great. That is, I mean, there's you have people who are like diehards on Red Fl or Black Flag. There's like people that like Black Flag and then there's people that like the rest of the series. Usually. Yeah. And then Black Flag was such a it was kind of an outlier too. Origins I felt was very strong. That was very good. The shield was bullshit, but other than that. But you didn't have to use it. You didn't have to use it. <laughs> Which I did not through the whole game. <laughs> and then uh Odyssey was just a fantastic game. It didn't have like all of the same elements of Assassin's Creed. They kind of got away with it and went to like yeah. a kind of just RPG open world situation, but it's still a good game though. It was damn good. Um, but once Valhalla came, I just I didn't really like it. I don't know. Like you guys yeah. can comment below. What's your favorite Assassin's Creed series? I generally love Assassin's Creed for the bleeding effect. It's in the bio of this channel. I'm trying to use the bleeding effect to break narratives and get through to people with stuff. So like you can kind of watch along see what's going on, and then kind of absorb that information third hand, like I said, through the bleeding effect. So I think it's a really cool concept, the whole damn game. I, I love it. Or the whole series. Yeah, ninjas and assassins go together pretty well. So We've been asking for ninjas <laughs> for so long, and they're like, oh, we're going to go to pirates. It's like ninjas would make more sense, and they're like, oh, we're going to go to Egyptians were like, okay, but ninjas would probably make more sense. And then they're like, oh, we're going to go to the Greeks. We're like, they're still ninjas, man. Like ninjas would make sense. And then they're like Vikings. And you're like, that doesn't make sense. That's the opposite of, that's that is, the opposite of sneaky. <laughs> it's like, that's the op you're going to, you're going to like pillage your way and murk your way through everybody. Like screaming Banshee whale berserker mode. That is not Assassin's Creed. That's what I did with a lot of the like sneaky missions anyway, though. I'm just like running in. <laughs> yeah, it's like Calabanga. <laughs> Let's go. But yes, this is ninjas. This is what we asked for. So Ubisoft, thank you for trying. And we'll see what the gameplay looks like. And we'll see if you guys did anything horrible to it. <laughs> I hope that it's just a good ninja game that everyone asked for. That would be nice. So from the gamer couple on YouTube. There's probably other gamer couples. Definitely. <laughs> but, but are there other gamer couples where we get the W on Fortnite on stream with Keegan taking care of twins as well? Because that's pretty crazy. 
there's not that many people. And we have five kids for the new people. The twins are just the youngest. Great to have Keegan in studio. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one.